One million. It's a number a lot of us fantasize over reaching. For generations, a million dollars in net assets was the benchmark for making it and ensuring a comfortable retirement. And yet, many of us continue to view that number as though it's out of reach and only possible in the best estimates of our compound interest or over decades and some great luck in as well. But did you know that one million is also the number of newly minted millionaires last year? It seems incredible that we could still be generating this much new wealth in a time when it all seemed to bear out that there are inequities and structural barriers that keep strivers from making progress. And yet clearly more and more are finding their way to vault themselves into that seven figure club. Now I certainly believe that $1 million is an excellent goal. You need benchmarks and ambitions to keep you going and certainly you're entitled to open that and pop that bottle of something on that day that you cross that million dollar mark. But you should keep in mind that inflation has changed the world we live in today dramatically from when the concept about being a millionaire first entered our lexicon. It's certainly nothing to sniff at, but it requires having some geographic perspective. A million dollars is certainly not something that keeps you in the upper stratosphere in places like New York City or San Francisco. As with anything in life, it's all a matter of perspective. It really depends on what your lifestyle needs are for you to come up with a number for yourself and your family that spells out financial freedom or perpetual wealth as I like to call it. Have a few kids in school? Want to stop working and begin living off the dividends and passive income streams? Well, then many parts of the country, that million dollars is certainly not a cue to stop working. The reality is that, as a general rule of thumb, $5 million is, these days, most likely the new million. Again, it all depends on what you want to do and what kind of lifestyle you want to lead. You may be perfectly happy with the simpler lifestyle that your family or you may be content to continue working. But I project that everything from I've seen that $5 million should really be the target if you're really aiming for a top-notch lifestyle in which money is just simply not a concern anymore and you can be fully in control of what you do with your time. There were about 1 million new millionaires last year as I said. This definition is those who have $1 million in investable assets and not in equity of their homes. Those are excluded. Having a million dollars in assets aside from your home is an excellent goal, but is it enough? There's nothing wrong with, that, with your answer, but today you really need about $5 million if you really want a top-notch lifestyle. But that's okay because there are opportunities everywhere. It might not always be obvious or even polite to say it when you clearly, clearly see so many people struggling, but it simply is true that it's never been easier than right now to become rich. It doesn't mean that you aren't, there aren't still challenges and hurdles to overcome, but just look at the tremendous opportunities that the internet has opened up for businesses. In the past, you might have been limited to reach your geographic region or your personal connections that, to make sales. Today, the internet gives you the entire span of the globe as your marketplace. If you can create a good or service that enough people around the world want and are willing to pay some premium price for, there is really no cap on what it is that you'll be able to achieve and generate the revenue for yourself. Just look at the example of Jack Ma. If the name isn't familiar for you yet, it will be. He is the richest man in China and the man behind Alibaba, which is essentially China's own version of the online platform like eBay or Amazon. Jack was a school teacher with no formal business training or techno technological training. What changed his life forever in the mid-90s was his first encounter with the internet. He tried out a primitive version of our streamlined search engines that we use today. There wasn't a Google back then, but you could still use the internet to search for whatever it was that was on your mind. Jack being a true man of the people, he made his first ever internet search on the word beer. He found the information about stories and beer products, but was struck by the realization that there were really no entries pertaining to China. All of the search results were for other countries. He immediately saw an opening and a niche in where the future was going. He made a big bet. He left the comfortable and well laid out path of teaching to launch an unusual new online market platform. He ultimately created far more wealth than he could have ever imagined, both for himself and others. I find this story so powerful because it could only have happened today. 
We often seem to worry as humans that the world is getting only worse and bleaker. But the truth is that the story would have not been possible for Jack in earlier times before the internet really came of age. He may have been able to come up with a good business idea or product to sell, but he would very likely have been limited to the reach of his customers. Today, he can virtually reach every customer in the world with the click of a button, and so can you. It begins with taking a proactive look at what it is that generates major wealth. Not everyone should be an entrepreneur, and there are benefits to learning the ropes to a business as an employee, but you'll always have the ceiling on your potential as long as it is that form of a salary. You need to be thinking like Jack did, like an owner unleashed upon the biggest global marketplace that has ever existed. There has never been a more advantageous time to fully seize the opportunities than today. And a million dollars is a pretty good place to start. There were one million newly minted millionaires last year, as I said again. There will be another million joining the ranks next year. The question is, will you be one of them? You can be by starting to think about how you can get online. How can you start to build your, your own business, your own wealth, your perpetual wealth. It's doable. Now be sure to check out my website, TonyNewmeyer.com, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook, and be sure you get a copy of my book, The 7 Minute Millionaire, at my website also. And until next time, live rich.